due to the spin motion of the electron we will pro having a magnetic effect and to represent this magnetic effect we will have a spin magnetic quantum number spin magnetic quantum number it is represented by ms as we very well know that the spin quantum number has two values that is plus half for clockwise rotation and minus half for anti-clockwise rotation the values of ms is from plus s to minus s and in this case zero is excluded we will not act include zero in this case as we have included zero in our orbital case for this ms is equal to plus s to minus s let us give an example when s is equal to half the ms have two values plus half and minus half and the orientation of the spin again it is given with the help of applied magnetic field if this is applied magnetic field and this is our spin angular momentum according to quantum mechanics which is given by s star h cross and this is the angle theta made with the applied magnetic field then this projection perpendicular projection of angular momentum on magnetic field is given by the spin magnetic quantum number that is ms and ms comes out to be s time of cos theta and with the help of different values of s we can find out the different values of theta and we can find out whether the electron is spin like this so electron is spinning like in this orientation or electron is spinning in this orientation because for every value of s different thetas will be obtained in case of different values of ms the last quantum number that is the combination of orbital magnetic quantum number and spin magnetic quantum number is our total magnetic quantum number total magnetic quantum number again it is obtained with the help of total quantum number which is given from l plus s to l minus s if the total quantum number is j then mg represents the total magnetic quantum number and again mg is given by j cos theta where j is your total quantum number different value of j will give the different value of mj and if j is an integer it and value of mj is from plus j to minus j including zero and if mj is not an integer it is an half integral then we will exclude this zero in case of if j is equal to half then mj will have only two values plus half and minus half in this that case we will not include zero similarly if we have j is equal to 3 by 2 then we will have mj is equal to from plus 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2 including all the half integrals that is plus half and minus half in the half case or half integral we will exclude zero otherwise for integers we will include zero hence there are total seven quantum numbers and these seven quantum numbers gives us the position the for example when n is equal to 1 we know that very well know that it is in the k shell and what will be the energy and how at how much distance the electron will be find out from the nucleus 
for example if n is equal to 3 and for l is equal to 2 we can easily find out the electron will be in this suborbit that is your d subshell and we very well know that with the help of l this d subshell will be in xy plane in yx plane with the help of the value of ml similarly if the electron in d is moving in clockwise motion with in this orientation or in this orientation or in this orientation we can easily find out the orientation of spinning electron with the help of ms the total influence of the orbital motion that is the vector quantity which is representing with the help thumb rule which is we are indicating as pl and the spin motion which is represented by spin angular momentum as both are vector quantities we uh, obtain a total vector or resultant vector from l and s and that vector is our total quantum number.